my name is Malachi Sargent and I am the director of Cake. So I encountered Cake by watching Blackbird Hour, which was a stage reading at Tallow Fest in 2019, which is the first play in the trilogy. Um, and I watched that and I, s I sobbed a lot in the theatre. I'd, I'd not encountered like such deeply beautiful poetic writing like that. As a stage reading, they had like three days of rehearsals, the scripts was in their hands, and I was like, this needs to be somewhere bigger, somewhere with a more audience, with a longer run. And then at the beginning of 2020, I started my job here at Theatre Peckham as associate director. So I was like, listen, I've raised some money. We did like a little artist in residence scheme where Babs and two other black queer femmes were in residence here for six months and got paid to like, uh, lead workshops and develop their art and do R&Ds and stuff. And yeah, that's kind of how I encountered Cake, very like long-winded way of describing the first encounter with Babs writing. I think for me, the most important thing to bring to present in Cake was like, is authenticity. Um, this set as a starting point is like the brainchild of uh, myself and Debbie DeVue, the set designer, um, we just had lots of really deep, iterative conversations about this world that we're building. Um, and this world is one that I know myself growing up in a social housing situation where there is damp in the walls and like things are peeling and chipping away. I want them to be humanised, these people who we see as complex and uh, painful and pained as they are, I want them to be humanised. I want audiences to come away seeing joy and tenderness and how that can exist simultaneous to destruction and chaos. Um, we oscillate between these things all the time in life, but we're always presented plays that are, you know, have a very particular narrative arc where there is a climax and then there is resolve, but this isn't that. This is not what playwriting conventions lend itself to this play throws all of that away. The process of, of working on this show has been fundamentally life-changing. The way we kind of approached it from the first day of rehearsal was to write a human manifesto. So like what are the things that, yeah, what are our ambitions and our intentions for this process? I'm not having to compromise. I'm not having to scale down my ideas. They're being facilitated by everybody else. And everyone was facilitating each other in that way. Now Cake is in the world, I'm, I'm feeling like, it's weird. I feel a little bit like um, a bird of some sort that has to do nesting. Like, there's been this very intentional thing of like, I know this baby's coming, got to get a nest together, make sure that the baby has somewhere to sleep and stuff. Finding all these sticks and twigs. Every day, I'm leaving my house to go and find sticks and twigs. Rah, that's my purpose. Cool, tunnel vision, focus. Book, 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 book. Got my nest, got little feathers in there, little bit of grass and that. I've made it, I've made it, we've made it. And now the baby's here and here I am regurgitating my food, making it grow. Two weeks later, it's like its own baby. It's walking and flying and doing all these bits and bobs. And I don't even need to be here. It's nuts. So I'm in a state of disbelief that I've been so tunnel visioned and focused on this one thing for such a long time. And now it exists and everyone's like, feeling it. Wow. Is it just my baby or is it everyone's? I mean, obviously Babs like, conceived the idea and birthed the, the, the story, but yeah, it's like giving your baby to the world. I don't know. It's disbelief, um, catharsis, joy, triumph.